The Mumbai Police, also known as Mumbai Police is the police force of the city of Mumbai, Maharashtra. It is a part of Maharashtra Police and has the primary responsibilities of law enforcement and investigation within the limits of Mumbai. The force's motto is Sadaraksanaya Kalanagrahanaya, Sanskrit, Sadaraksanaya Kalanagrahanaya, to protect the good and to destroy the evil. It is headed by the Commissioner of Mumbai Police assisted by an IPS officer in the rank of Additional Director General, and each district headed is headed by a Deputy Commissioner of Police in the rank of Superintendent of Police excluding jails headed by Inspector Generals and each stations headed by a Senior Inspector or Station Officer. History Origins During the 17th century until 1655, the area of present-day Mumbai was under Portuguese control. The Portuguese formed a basic law enforcement structure in this area with the establishment of a police outpost in 1661. The origins of the present-day Mumbai police can be traced back to a militia organized by Gerald Ongier, the then governor of Mumbai in 1669. This Bandari militia was composed of around 500 men and was headquartered at Mahim, Siri and Sion. In 1672, the judicial overview of police decisions by courts was introduced, although none of the judges had any actual legal training. The situation remained unchanged through the Maratha Wars. However, by 1682, policing remained stagnant. There was only one ensign for the whole Bandari militia, and there were only three sergeants and two corporals. Creation and early days On 29 March 1780, the Office of the Lieutenant of Police was dissolved and the Office of Deputy of Police was created. James Todd, the then Lieutenant of Police was appointed as the first Deputy of Police on 5 April 1780. He was tried and dismissed for corruption in 1790. Subsequently, the designation was changed to Deputy of Police and High Constable. In 1793, Act 33, Geo. 3 was promulgated. The post of Deputy of Police was abolished and a post of Superintendent of Police was created in its place, with a Deputy of Superintendent of Police assisting him. Mr. Simon Halliday was the first Superintendent of Police, and governed till 1808. During this time, a thorough revision and rearrangement of policing in the area outside the fort was carried out. The troublesome area known as Dungree and the Woods was split up into 14 police divisions, each division being staffed by two English constables and a varying number of peons not exceeding 130 for the whole area, who were to be stationary in their respective charges and responsible for dealing with all illegal acts committed within their limits. <laughs> Post-1857 After the cementing of English rule in India after the 1857 War of Indian Independence, in 1864, the three presidency towns of Bombay, Calcutta and Madras were given commissioners of police. On 14 December 1864, Sir Frank Souter was appointed the first police commissioner of Bombay. He remained in office for 24 years, till July 3, 1888. During that year, 1864, Khan Bahadur Sheikh Ibrahim Sheikh Imam became the first Indian appointed to a police officer's post. In 1896, the commissioner's office moved to an Anglo Gothic revival building, which it still occupies to this day. The police headquarters building is a protected heritage site. The Maharashtra police headquarters moved into what was known as the Royal Alfred Sailors' Home in 1896. Construction began on the building in early 1872 and was finished four years later, in 1876. As its name suggests, it was made to accommodate 20 officers and 100 seamen. However, the building was actually conceived to commemorate the visit of the Duke of Edinburgh in 1870. The Duke laid the foundation stone during his visit. The Maharashtra government acquired the building in 1928 to house the Bombay Legislative Council. The police force subsequently moved in after it was vacated. Topic: <inaudible> Post-independence.
Topic: After 1947. After independence, many changes to the Mumbai police were instituted. On the 15th of August 1947, J.S. Barucha became the first Indian head of the Mumbai police, taking over from the last British commissioner, Mr. A.E. Caffin. A dog squad was set up in 1965. Computers were first used by the Mumbai police in 1976. A narcotics cell and an anti-terrorist special operations squad were created in 1989. In 1995, the control room was computerized, and finally, in 1997, the Mumbai police went online. <laughs> Modernization and present day A massive modernization of the Mumbai police took place in 2005. New vehicles, guns and electronic equipment were procured for police use. The tourist squad was also created to patrol the beaches of Mumbai. On 30 May 2009 the Maharashtra government in Mumbai set up a police station dedicated to tackling cyber crime. It is the third such facility in India after Bangalore and Hyderabad. The dedicated police station will now register first information reports FERS on its own and investigate offences pertaining to cyberspace. It is not clear how people abroad may report to Mumbai Cybercell. The police station will take care of all cyber cases in the city including that of terror emails. The existing cyber crime investigation cell of the city police probes cyber offences, but the FERS are registered in local police stations depending on the site of the offence. A specially trained team of over 25 policemen, headed by an assistant commissioner of police ACP, were selected for the new job. The facility will function under the supervision of Deputy Commissioner of Police Preventive and Joint Commissioner of Police Crime. <laughs> <laughs> Organization The Mumbai Police Force is headed by a police commissioner, who is an IPS officer. The Mumbai Police comes under the State Home Department through Maharashtra Police. The city is divided into 12 police zones and 25 traffic police zones, each headed by a deputy commissioner of police. The traffic police is a semi-autonomous body under the Mumbai Police. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Geographical Division. Mumbai Police is broadly divided into five regions namely Central, North, South, East and West. For administrative purposes, each region is subdivided into three to four zones. Each zone contains three to four police stations. Each zone is commanded by a Deputy Commissioner of Police DCP. Apart from the twelve zones, there is also an additional port zone. Police stations under the port zone keep vigil on the Mumbai port and container terminals in Mumbai. There are a total of 91 police stations in the jurisdiction of Mumbai Police. Every police station has a police inspector who is the in-charge officer of the station. Hierarchy Recruitment Those who join the police force through the constabulary exam enter the force at the lowest ranks of the force. Their starting rank is that of a police constable. Those who join the police force through the state examination Maharashtra State Public Service Commission holds a starting rank of deputy superintendents of police. Officers who join the police force through the civil service examination UPSC also known as the IPS exam holds a starting rank of assistant superintendent of police. Generally the IPS officers make it to the highest rank of Director General. The Commissioner of Police of Mumbai, an IPS officer is one of the rank of additional Director General of Police. Topic subunits Mumbai Police is divided into the following units, Local Police Special Unit Service Crime Branch Cyber Cell Commando Force Detection Unit Mumbai Encounter Squad Anti-Terrorist Squad Traffic Police Administration Social Service Cell Narcotic Cell Wireless Cell Local Armed Police Anti-Extortion Cell Modus Operandi Bureau Missing Persons Bureau Special Branch Intelligence Unit Protection and Security Riot Control Police Economic Offenses Wing Juvenile Aid Protection Unit Quick Response Team Force 
Force One each of these units have a chief of the rank of Joint Commissioner of Police. <laughs> High-profile cases The 26th of November 2008 Mumbai attacks anti-terrorism squad chief Hemant Karkari, additional commissioner of police Ashok Kamti and encounter specialist Vijay Salaskar were among the policemen who fell to the bullets of the Pakistan-sponsored terrorists. Then Joint Commissioner of Mumbai Crime Branch Mr. Rakesh Maria under the leadership of Police Commissioner Hassan Ghaffour tackled the abrupt attack by his superb skills. Mr. Ramesh Mahale, then an officer with Crime Branch investigated the case and brought the lone arrested militant Ajmal Kassab to justice. Police Commissioner Hassan Ghaffour was shunted out of his office. Mahale resigned recently over a murder case investigation which he was leading. In the following year, as a response to these attacks, a specialized counter-terrorism unit, Force One was formed and commissioned on November 24, 2009, two days before the anniversary of the 26-11th terror attacks. A committee was appointed to look into the failures of cops pertaining to the terror attack. The Ram Pradhan Committee, as it came to be known, furnished a report recommending a series of improvements and reforms. The state government of Maharashtra however never had this report tabled in the legislature fearing a fallout over strictures passed in the report. A public interest litigation has been filed by social activist Keaton Tarodkar to demand equal justice for all the police who were killed in the terror attack, especially for the members of the bomb disposal squad of Mumbai police. During the hearing of the petition, the government informed the High Court that the Federal Government of India has rejected the proposal to award the bomb disposal squad of the city police for their contribution in defusing grenades in the terror attack. Sheena Bora murder case Sheena Bora, an executive working for Metro One based in Mumbai, went missing on April 24, 2012. In August 2015, the Mumbai police had received a tip off from an unknown man claiming that Sheena Bora had been murdered. After they got in touch with their counterparts in Pune, they arrested her mother, Indrani Mukaja, her stepfather Sanjeev Khanna, and her mother's chauffeur, Shyamvar Pincharam Rai, for allegedly abducting and killing her and subsequently burning her corpse. They also arrested Indrani's husband, Peter Mukaja, in connection with the case. Rai has now been allowed to turn approver in the case after he was pardoned by the Bandra Magistrate Court in Mumbai. As of May 2017, Indrani, Peter, and Sanjeev have been lodged in Baikola Women's Jail and Arthur Road Jail in Mumbai, respectively. Equipment <inaudible> 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 Much of the equipment for the Mumbai police are manufactured indigenously by the Indian Ordnance Factories controlled by the Ordnance Factories Board, Ministry of Defence, Government of India. Weapons such as Glock pistols are imported from Austria. These pistols were first imported for the anti-terrorist squad in Mumbai when the same was formed in 2004. Topic weapons Rifles SMLEM K3 Asterisk, Aishapur 2A1, Sub-Machine Gun Carbine 9mm 1A1, 7.62M 1A1, Assault Rifle 7.62mm, 38M Multi-Shot Riot Gun, INSAS 5.56mm, AK-47 247 in total, FN FAL 250 MP5 German Automatic Sub-Machine Guns have just been ordered, M4, M107 and anti-material rifle and SWAT equipment. Pistols Glock pistol, pistol auto 9mm 1A, Smith & Wesson M&P. Topic. Detail list of Mumbai Police's vehicles 72 speed boats have been also ordered. Topic. Uniform. Peaked caps are worn with an orange band and crown that is less stiff such it drops downwards. Khaki short sleeve shirt and long pants are worn by most members. <laughs> <laughs> Mumbai police in popular culture Because Bollywood, India's Hindi language film industry, is primarily based in Mumbai, the Mumbai police has been frequently portrayed in films. 
Some of the prominent ones are listed below. Company 2002. Dumb 2003. On Men at Work 2004. A Flat Talk Choppin 2004. Black Friday 2004. Cocky 2004. Shootout at Loquandwala 2007. A Wednesday 2008. Mumbai Mary Yan 2008. Department 2012. Talash 2012. Shootout at Wadala 2013. A Flat Talk Choppin 2 2015. Most of these films are based on the operational groups most commonly known as encounter squads. Officers like Pradeep Sharma, Vijay Salaskar, Prayful Bosale, Ravindra Angre etc. have previously headed these squads. Junior officers Hemant Desai, Ashok Kot, Sachin Ways, Daya Nayak, Utam Bosale etc. assisted them. Honours <laughs> <laughs> The Ashok Chakra, India's highest civilian honour during peacetime, was conferred posthumously upon two Mumbai police officers, Hemant Karkari and Ashok Kamti who laid their lives in the service of the nation during the 2008 Mumbai attacks. Junior officer Vijay Salaskar was also posthumously awarded the Ashok Chakra. See also Mumbai History of Mumbai Mumbai Fire Brigade Maharashtra Police Topic Literature Kadam, B. S. Shri, Socio-Historical Study of Police Administration in Bombay Presidency 1861-1947, Kolhapur 1993 Dis. Shivaji University Kennedy, M. Notes on criminal classes in the Bombay Presidency Appendices regarding some foreign criminals who occasionally visit the Presidency, including hints on the detection of counterfeit coin, Bombay 1908 Edwardus, Stephen M. Commissioner of Police, the Bombay City Police, a historical sketch, 1672-1916, Bombay U. A., 1923 Edwardus, Stephen M., Crime in India, brief review of the more important offences included in the annual criminal return Returns with chapters on prostitution and miscellaneous matters, Oxford U.A. 1924 Statistiken, Gedricht I'm, Annual Report of Police for the Town and Island of Bombay, Laufende Monatstatistiken auf Mumbai Police. <laughs>